Hi everyone, um, this video is designed to show you how to create a blog for my class. If you are a new student and you did not get to see me show everybody else how to create a blog, then you need to watch this video. The first thing you need to do is to go to Google and sign in. Everybody should have a Google account because if you have an ODU account, then you have a Google account. If you don't have a Google account, then you need to sign up and create one. I have one, so I'm going to sign in. After you're signed into Google, go to blogger.com. You can see it up here, B-L-O-G-G-E-R. When you go to this page, if you have already created a blog through Blogger, then you will see a list here of all of your blogs. As you can see, I have several blogs. If you have never created a blog before, then you really won't see anything on this page. To create a new blog, you press this button over here, New Blog. You can come up with a title for your blog. The title can be anything you want. The easiest thing to do is something like this, Ashley's blog. Pick your name and say it's my blog. But anything you want to. You can call the title anything. The address, on the other hand, has to be something that only belongs to you. It's kind of like an email address. You have to pick a name that nobody else has. So if I say Ashley, it says, sorry, this blog address is not available because there are a lot of people named Ashley, so that's not going to work. So what if I try my whole name, Ashley Green? Also not available. There's probably another Ashley Green who already took this blog name. So what if I tried Ashley is the best teacher? That's available. Okay, so my blog address will be Ashley is the best teacher dot blogspot dot com. Then you choose a template. They have a few options here on Blogger. You can choose any one you want, but I think simple is the best. I don't like dynamic views. Dynamic views is bad. I don't like it. Pick something else. Simple is good. Picture window is fine. Awesome is fine. I like simple the best. Don't do dynamic views. Then you press Create Blog. Now you'll see it says Ashley's Blog. If I click on the title of my blog, I have this page here. This is a page that only I can see. When I'm signed into Blogger, I can see this page, but nobody else who looks at my blog can see it. The first thing you should do is go over here to Settings. When you go to Settings, you'll see something here that says Privacy. You can edit your privacy. Right now, everything is clicked to Yes. What this means is anybody in the world can find your blog. So someone in China right now, doing a search on the internet, could find your blog. Someone in South Africa could find your blog. If that's okay with you, you don't care if everybody sees your blog, then just press yes for both of these. If, however, you think it's better if not everybody sees your blog, you only want me to see your blog and maybe the other students in the class, then check no. That means the only people who can see your blog are the people you want. If you check no, then press save changes. If you check yes, you can just press cancel. Okay, next thing you need to do, you see here it says blog address. I need your blog address. So I need you to copy this. And then I need you to go to my website, missashleygreen.com. I need you to go to our class page. And I need you to go all the way down here where it says comments, all the way to the bottom, enter your comment. And then I need you to paste 
the address for your blog. This is the address for your blog, the one that says .blogspot.com. That's what I need. And then you press Publish. Okay? After you've done that, then you're going to go over here to Template. If you look at Template, this is where if you want to, you can make changes. So you press Customize. and you can do all kinds of things. You can go to background, you can change the colors, you can do advanced, which lets you change the font if you want to, anything you want. So if you don't like, if you think this is boring and you want a more interesting blog, this is where you can go to change it. When you're finished, you press apply to blog and then go back to blogger. Okay, now, to make a post for my class, you go over here to New Post. You give it a title. Type in anything you want to. So we'll call it my blog post. Hi, Ashley. This is my blog. When you're finished, you press Publish. It's that easy. If you have Google Plus like me, it will ask you if you want to share it on Google Plus. Just press cancel. Now it's there. If you want to see it, you go up here and press view blog. And then you can see your blog post. This is what your blog looks like to everybody else. This is how I see your blog. You see the address there. Ashley is the best, best teacher dot blogspot dot com. If you want to go back to your blog to edit it, you press the orange button up here. Go to blogger.com. You click on Ashley's blog, or whatever the title of your blog is, and then you're back to this page again, and you can edit things. Next thing you need to know. When you do a SoundCloud for my class, you're going to need to post here, new post. Notice that when you type something for my class, like this is Ashley, you have the Compose button pressed. When you use SoundCloud, you're going to need to switch to HTML. That's the only difference that you need to know. Compose is for the writing assignments. HTML is for the speaking assignments. We're going to go away. That's all you need to know to set up a blog in my class. If you have any questions at all, please let me know.